Over the years, I've had many people come and ask me how I manage my time. They ask me how I'm so focused and how I get things done. A big part of why I'm able to get a lot of stuff done is I have eliminated a lot of people out of my life. As I know it sounds very harsh, but over the years, my life experiences have taught me that there are certain types of people you simply should not tolerate. And I've also attempted in many cases to try and change these people and that never worked. So then over the years, I learned that there was no point trying to change people. Just identify there are certain types of people that you need to avoid if you don't want to waste your time. The four types of people are what I call the fixed mindsets people. And these people are very fixed in how they think and they have no desire to change their mind. They're inflexible in their thinking. And so once their mind is made up, and that's mostly through some sort of brainwashing, they are not open to any alternative ideas, especially if it challenges their belief system. So once their belief system is set, they are no longer seeking any new information. These people are not original thinkers. They do not bring any value to conversations. Their mind is made up. It never changes. And if you try and help them, enable them, mobilize them in any way, they get upset at you because they don't like changing their mind. So fixed mindset people are not people who want to grow in life. Definitely should be avoided if you're an ambitious person, if you're a high performer, if you're somebody who wants to achieve success, if you're really keen on making sure that your time is not wasted. First types of people you want to avoid are fixed mindset people. The second type of person that I also avoid is the person who has an incredible amount of ego. Now, confidence is fine, but ego is when a person is excessively attached to their external identity and they're always looking to do things that is going to improve their social status, but there is no depth, there is no meaning in their life. These people, they're always in their head and they, they feel the need to control everything. So I don't feel comfortable being around people like that because these people are not really wise. They may be intellectual in many cases, but they completely lack wisdom. So again, I just find that they're not people who evolve a lot. And just if you spend too much time with them, they start draining you. They think they know everything, but they really don't. And because they're not seeking a lot of the wisdom and truth, what happens is they also get quite set in their ways. The third category of people that I also avoid is the hypocrite. The person who says one thing and does another thing or doesn't really stand by what they say. These people are hypocritical. They don't, a lot of the times they don't realize that they're hypocritical and that's fine. But the fact is that if they're hypocrites, you can't trust them. You can't rely on them. They're going to change what they're saying when it suits their narrative. You know, on one hand, they'll they'll say this, and then the moment something changes, you know, they'll they'll change their tune. So they're real hypocrites. And so I just find that people like that, you know, people who can be very two-faced, I would generally avoid them as well. The fourth type of people that I avoid are incompetent people, people who have never really acquired any type of serious skill set. They are not good at anything that they do. They're lazy. They don't want to develop a skill. Uh, they don't really believe in performing well. And they're all about relaxing and enjoying themselves and having peace or whatever it is that they say to justify their incompetency. I avoid them because these people, uh, there's no point being around them. They're not inspiring people in any way. They're just lazy in many cases. They don't even want to develop the competency. I, I mean, look, I would be around people happily if they didn't have competency, as long as they had a desire to acquire some sort of competency. But when they don't have any desire to acquire competency either, I'm not interested in them. The fifth type of person that I also avoid are the cowards. The people who never stand by what they believe. Now, people who don't have the courage to speak up. People who don't follow their dreams. People who just go with whatever their fear tells them to do. I avoid cowards because I see cowardice as lack of character. I see them as people who are just don't have the moral fortitude, the ethical fortitude to do the right thing. I can't trust people like that because the problem is if I trust a coward, when things get tough, when things when, when it comes to their self-interest, they're going to retreat. They're not going to be there to, to, to support you. They're not going to be there to defend you. They're not going to be there to protect you. So I don't trust cowards. And as a general rule, I avoid them both from my personal life and from my professional life. The six type of people that I avoid are victims. People who always act like life is happening to them. The ones that act like they have no control. They have no power. They have no energy. They're always 
blaming circumstance, blaming people, blaming the economy, blaming family members. They've always got someone to blame, but they never really inwardly reflect on themselves and take responsibility for fixing their life. The reason I don't like these people and I avoid them is because there is no accountability on them. They don't place any accountability on them. Blaming is the, a way that you put accountability on others. And so that's what these people do. The, the victims will always put accountability on somebody else. They always feel sorry for themselves. And so the problem is that that irritates me after a while because I go, when am I going to see you actually step up and take accountability and responsibility for your life? The seventh type of person that I avoid are people who are overly sensitive. Now, you may think that people who are overly sensitive are good people. I, I, I don't think so because I, for me, people who are overly sensitive, they're all about their own feelings. Think about it, right? They're so sensitive. They can't really confront the brutal realities of life. They don't like the truth. They continually prioritize their own feelings over facts. And the problem with that is their feelings are fleeting. They've become emotionally weak. And now they want you to cater to their weakness. I won't do it. And certainly for me, when I see people who are overly sensitive and just cannot handle the truth, I don't want to be around them because I know that when it really comes down to the crunch, they're going to turn their back on the truth and they're going to continue to prioritize their feelings. And lastly, the, another type of people that I avoid are people who are hateful, yeah, envious, people who are not doing well in their life, but rather than improving themselves, they spit venom on others. They always try and tear other people down. They're always engaging in some sort of personal attack, mockery because of their envy and their insecurity. And rather than fixing themselves, improving themselves, they take out their anger and envy on people who are doing better than them. They try and tear other people down. These people also must be avoided. Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you is it's been tremendously helpful for me to specifically identify the type of people who don't bring any value to you and will never bring any value to you. And just by eliminating these types of people, by identifying them first, I have been able to fix my life. I've been able to make sure that my life is optimized. My time is being used more efficiently. And I'm not really wasting my energy and my emotion on people who are simply not going to improve and change.